<laughs> okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ooh, do you have a dispenser? We could put a head on him, because he's not wearing a helmet. <gasps> do you have any curse of binding stuff? Oh, we could curse of bind diamond armor to him. <laughs> Free has that. Uh... Wait, does Free have that? They have no idea that I can hear them. Okay, let me. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. First check target. Okay, I'm gonna do. Oh, she's doing an armor stand. She's gonna do the the whole armor stand deal. Uh, item flat on wow, I kind of like her skin. That is literally not. <laughs> <a surface. laughs> sure, a surface. <laughs> not just a couple. Okay, uh, <laughs> just a little bit, like you, like you, wrong way. What do you mean wrong way? I was just Touch down editing a video. <laughs> And oh I hear yeah. them in the background. I was like, wait, no, what? What's that far down? <laughs> I wish I could see what they were doing. I had it before, and you said wrong way. <laughs> All right, it's fine. <laughs> okay, I'll lock it now. <laughs> That's going to be so annoying. Okay, and then let's put one up by, like, his storage system. Oh, no, she locked it? Well, hello! Well, hello. Oh, hello. Ooh, freeze here. Uh, okay. I know what they're gonna do. Thank you. Yep. Just in time for the pranking. <laughs> of course, of course. Of course. See so down the sheep farm. <laughs> of course. Ooh, I know what will be infuriating. Ooh, uh oh. Hey, he's in the sheep farm. Sure am. Wait. <laughs> So sorry for your chat, by the way, Free. <laughs> Why do you say that? You see all those little things that a queen clicks. Yep. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. Should I should I foil his plan? Perfect. I'm I'm worried. Okay, okay. I no, I'm gonna just let them do it. And uh, and right before they leave. I don't know. Okay. Oh, he did it. Okay. Yeah, I don't... No! No, he's here! <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. I was editing a video. I heard it. It was very strange. <laughs> what happened? Hello? He's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no hell no hell no I, hell no free where are you i just see a bunch of mosquitoes flying around look at him yeah this was it's all beautiful. free's idea so you should kill him for sure where is he i don't know he bailed i think he probably went back to his base or shopping district. That's where he was. <laughs> well then, are you sure it was his idea? Pretty yes, positive, dude, yeah. Freeze literally. <sighs> he always causes shenanigans. He killed me with an end crystal the other day. You know that? Um, and he actually tried to trap me in the end, but it failed. So, yeah. how about. Do you want to help me retaliate? I don't know what to do. But... Oh, I'm already working on that. I'm gonna fill his base with end crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gave me an idea to fill his base up with obsidian, as well. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mine Wreckers SMP Season One. A lot has gone down. I hope you enjoyed that little shenanigans that uh, I somehow was able to record. It was quite interesting. Uh, it's very unfortunate, during those events, a little later on, I did end up falling in lava, so I actually do not have my elytra. And I lost these blocks, so I need to figure out how I can get myself some polished diorite and some more birch. 
but I think I'll worry about that a little later. I have fixed the issue here with the magenta sheep, so I am getting the drops from the magenta wool that I've been needing for a long time, and I finally fixed it. And speaking of wool, I actually have something really cool and special to show you. Just in the shopping district, I have completed building out the wool farm. Or, <laughs> not the wool farm, the wool shop. It looks absolutely fantastic. I could not have done this without three incredible building players. We got Gwen, Queen, and Top. Oops. I don't have his head, so I'm re representing him as a oak log. <laughs> but the shop is fully stocked currently, as far as I'm aware of. I haven't really looked at it for a while, but... This is uh, what we have. I also extended into doing carpet. I'm surprised this hasn't really been as profitable as I expected it to be, but maybe that's just because people aren't really using carpet in their projects at the moment. Uh, it kind of was the same way with the carpets here, with the wool blocks, but uh, eventually they ended up becoming very profitable. But I'm also selling banners as well. And I haven't really done much in the way of stocking these up yet, but everyone likes the way that I've been putting these all together, so this is this is essentially what I've got. Some of this stuff might be things that I intend on selling, and some of it might just be, you know, if you want it, you can definitely buy it, but if not, it, it's at least, you know, decoration, and, you know, it makes this place look a lot better. Also, over here, I am hopefully going to be supplied with a plethora of dyes and I can start selling dye in the shop as well because apparently dye is a big time staple on the server at the moment especially when it comes to dyed or colored concrete powder so I thought I would add that into the shop it kind of fits perfectly because you know colored wool it just works. But again, like I said, I can't credit this shop to myself alone. I have to credit these three people. And to be honest, I did do a time lapse. So let's roll that.
I am so excited about doing this shop. I haven't ever had a shop in a server that even did remotely well, but this is a dream come true. I hope you guys like the shop. It's an extension from the Matthias Trading Co. Refined Linens, and it's fully stocked, except for a few items still working on. I'm just really excited to finally have a shop that hopefully produces something decent. Now, just over here, apparently, there's been another shop that I have actually purchased from. It's called the Beaconator. This is both Queen and Top's shop, and they are selling beacons. I did purchase one beacon with one diamond block earlier this week, but I am so amazed with the talent and the skill in these two builders. Uh, I'm super impressed with Queen, the skills and the talent that she has for building. It's just, she's just done a phenomenal job with her builds. And speaking of Queen, she has provided another shop. She has the mining, uh, old man's mine shop or whatever, selling all types of kind of cavey stone rocks type of materials. But over here, she posted a Discord saying that she had another shop. So let's check it out. I've really wanted to check it out with you guys. Welcome to Loot or Scoot. This shop is a chance you take to try and get your hands on some sweet, sweet loot. Drop your five diamonds on the carpet in front of your selected door and press the button over it to enter. Once you open the door, there will be a small room with a pressure plate. Stand on the pressure plate and you will receive either a loot box or a piece of pink concrete that says, not a winner. Please be sure to only activate the pressure plate once. If you happen to activate it twice, you will have to pay another five diamonds for whatever item you receive. Putting it back is not an option. The loot boxes are in four categories listed on the next page. One, magma jackpot box two good value three decent box four yikes items in each box will vary you also get to keep the shulker box there are two doors in front and two doors in the back so choose wisely and good luck p.s if you pay and the shop is out of stock message me on discord and i'll restock well that was a mouthful I really wanted to go in, but I actually don't have any diamonds at the moment to be able to really take a chance. Otherwise, I'm sorry, Queen, but I would love to try, but I can't do it. Not with the little poor dim amount of diamonds that I have. So hopefully sometime later, sometime soon, We'll definitely be doing some uh, looting and looting and scooting. All right, I'm back at the base. I actually realized that I did have enough diamonds to at least get an elytra, which, by the way, I need to enchant. Somehow, I have managed to get some lapis from somewhere, and I just realized I'm doing this wrong don't think I need the lapis. I just need this. If I put this in there, oh wait, this in there, and then this goes on top? No, that is incorrect. Oh, I need, I need XP. Uh, let's see. I know exactly where I can go. Hold on. Ah, here we are. An XP farm for guardians. Now that I got 10 levels, at least, oh wait, where'd my book go? 
As I was saying... Nice. I'm sure you probably have noticed some of the changes that have been happening around my base. I have decided to add some carpeted areas into the floors. So I use this blue aqua, or no, the cyan wool as my, kind of one of my main colors with dark green as being the accent border color, if that makes sense. So I have that and I have my brand new first ever enchantment set up there. And coming over to this side, I decided to create more or less a manual storage area. So this is going to be more for quick ease of access for things that I need to grab quickly or for, you know, random things that I don't have a place or uh, that I just I, I don't know, like, I have a system, I just can't put words to it. But I add this carpet right in the middle of the floor as well, and you probably couldn't help but notice this. This book is a quest that I put in. At least one double chest full of any or all types of coral, not dead. Fan types and block types. And my reward, I'll give them 25 diamonds. Uh, also, sea pickles would be nice, but not required. No extra reward. And I kind of added a third page just because I wanted to make sure that the second page was being read uh, and not just the first page. All the other wreckers should know that if there's an extra page, I probably did that on purpose. Now let's look inside. This is a lot of coral, and this person did deliver on the sea pickles, even though I wouldn't be giving them a reward for that. So I owe none other than Queen Surge 25 diamonds or an IOU, but she'd probably prefer the 25 diamonds. I am running extremely low on the diamond front because I have been spending a lot of money on things that I do need. So I need books, so I've been buying paper, I need food, so I've been buying fish, I need the wings. So I bought wings. So I only have three diamonds left to my name. But I will say that the wool shop has been pretty lucrative. So... This three diamonds is what's left of a huge quantity of diamonds. Well, it is about time for me to wrap up this video. It took a while for me to get this figured out. I actually had already started editing this video and I was not happy with it. So I decided to scrap it and take a few of the good parts of that episode and put it in this one. So. Now you got something good to watch, but as you could probably see a little sneak peek something that I've been doing off camera I've been trying to figure out how to uh, improve and develop my Build my mansion a little bit more and this is what I've come up with so far. I've been needing to put an edge or a border around the doorways here. I've been needing to put cross beams over here. I might actually need to adjust this floor pattern because of the pillar that goes straight down into it. So I'm gonna might have to uh, go back to the drawing board and figure out how I'm going to make the pattern and it still look phenomenal, still look good. Um, but this is essentially the storage room top came over and helped to finish the item storage system uh, for the mechanics that is he definitely deserves something some kind of reward if you have any ideas of what I could do for top for finishing my storage system let me know down in the comments but again that is about all I have time for today in this episode uh, we have a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to look at with you guys in the next episode, so 
Once again, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you next time. Bye!